color changer Jackson Storm is really interesting to me for one reason. Because what we see on the color changer of Jackson Storm is something that we're still yet to get on the regular Jackson Storm diecast. The color changer Jackson Storm includes his Piston Cup Champion logos. You can see one on the side and on the back he has his Piston Cup Champion logo and he's missing his rookie stripes. This is how Jackson appears at the end of Cars 3 at the Florida 500 after apparently having won the Piston Cup season before in which Lightning crashed in the last race so we never saw how it ended. Mattel is still yet to release a regular Piston Cup Champion Jackson Storm diecast and I don't really know if they ever will. Honestly, it's such a minor difference. Then again, Mattel has released tons of diecast variants that are just little minor differences. But, yeah, a Jackson from the Florida 500 is a diecast we're still yet to get. To this day, even in the Florida 500 diecast series that we see time and time again every year, we just get the regular rookie Jackson Storm. So it was really nice of them to have the color changer be this version of Jackson. Of course, I would have preferred a regular diecast release of Piston Cup Champion Jackson Storm, but it's still really nice to get him in some capacity. They did the same thing a few years back in the Color Changers line with the RS Team McQueen Color Changer, another car who still to this day doesn't have a regular diecast release. They made it available through the Color Changer, although RS Team McQueen, of course, does have his metallic release. The um, regular Jackson Storm color scheme, it's really nice to have that as one of his colors on the color changer because that way, yeah, you basically have an accurate, although plastic, Piston Cup Champion Jackson Storm. Unfortunately, though, it's his cold color, which makes sense. The darker colors are usually the cold color. And in my experience, things like the warmth of your hands, if your hands are warm, or sunlight can change the color back to the warm color, which is why I won't be using this guy in Cars Adventures. It's just going to be that most likely while filming some episodes, he's going to start changing back to the blue color scheme. Um, even though he is more accurate to After Cars 3, I'm just going to keep on using this guy. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Jackson Storm Color Changer. This is actually a re-release. He was released at the same time as Cruz a few years back, although I don't believe in America. And if it was in America, it was very, very limited. Of course, we have your usual very nice new color changer artwork. Jackson getting his color changed there to this light blue sort of teal color almost with the desert behind him, little puddle of water underneath him. You can see the two-in-one logo down here showing the two colors he has. Of course, his regular color and that bluish color. Up here, we have the representation of sort of the cold water and hot water. I really like how that turned out and the color changer's logo. On the back, you can see it just says Jackson Storm. Cold water changes the color. Warm water changes it back. Now, interestingly, as I said yesterday in my August haul, Jackson here in the packaging is in his cold color scheme, as is Francesco, who I got at the same store as him, which I think is definitely interesting. And all the other, all the other times where I've seen the new color changers in stores, they've been in their warm color schemes, and I've been reviewing them in their warm color schemes. So this is definitely interesting. In the case of Jackson, it's pretty cool though, because we'll be seeing him turn uh, not back to his regular color, but instead we'll be seeing him turn to the blue color first. So here is Jackson out of the package. He's definitely a bit of a darker color than his regular diecast variant, although the spoiler is a lighter color, and unfortunately, like with all of the color changers, the spoiler is not going to be changing color, I don't think. You just got your typical Jackson Storm expression there. Got the headlights there, which look very nice, although a bit different from the regular diecast. That seems to be the case with most of these color changers. There are small changes in the details. We've got igniter liquid nitrogen written there. On the side, of course, we have his piston cup logo in the yellow sort of gold there, as compared to the regular Jackson from earlier on in the movie, which just has the piston cup logo. We also have his 2.0 and the secondary sponsors of Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. Got the light your tires there. Big S logo on the side. And unfortunately, he is missing his signature, which the regular diecast has, of course. That's really a shame. These color changers have been really good with including all the small details. Unfortunately, 
Jackson's signature isn't there though. First we have the igniter logo written on the spoiler. Since the spoiler is a lighter color, it's definitely easier to see than it is on the regular Jackson die cast there. And of course we have his gas cap, typical details. The back of Jackson here is painted a black color compared to the gray of the rest of him. So I'd assume that that color won't be changing when we do the color changing. And on the back we have more uh, differences from his traditional die cast, as this is the Piston Cup Champion version. He doesn't have the rookie stripes, instead he has a Piston Cup Champion logo. I just really hope they release this as a normal die cast. The changes on him are minor, but they're definitely pretty cool. Got an igniter logo up there, and there is his other side, and there is the base. So now let's get some water and test out this guy's color changing. All right, so here we of course have our hot and cold water. The hot water is gonna change Jackson to that blue color and the cold water is going to change him back to his usual color scheme. So let's dip him in the warm water. Oh wow, that looks pretty cool. Definitely a very plasticky looking color, but I really like that, that's awesome. All the colors, um, I was kind of concerned about how this color would clash with the other blues on Jackson, but it looks really cool. I really like that. Look at that. That is awesome. He's got a very, like, Hot Wheels car sort of color scheme going on now. I think that looks so cool. Of course, we still have the black part. Uh, in the back and his spoiler is still gray. Usually the spoiler is not changing colors on the color changer, sort of bugs me, but I think it looks fine in Jackson's case. Now let's bring him back to the normal color. Now here he is back to normal. I'll put him back into the warm water. Very cool, definitely looks pretty good. Now the uh, cold water color is bleeding through. Let's put him back into the cold. He's one where I think it's it's interesting to watch how he changes colors. Um, because he's changing from such a light color to such a dark color. It almost, it kind of feels like a process. That's why I'm, I'm dipping him in slowly. It's interesting to see. Just watch how the colors change back. It's pretty difficult to wipe some of the darker color, uh, the cold water color off of the top of him. A lot of times the cold water uh, color sort of bleeds through. But definitely a very cool color change. That's why I'm still <laughs> changing his color. Let's go for the half and half. There we go. Definitely looking pretty cool. Anyway guys, hold on, let's fix the front. There you go. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye now.